to your introductory press conference, you said sucking wasn't something you were interested in easing out of. So progress before that year. I figured that was going to come back and bite me in the butt. <laughs> uh, I think we've made a pretty good stride in, in uh, getting uh, getting to improve Don Weber's uh, program a little bit. I think that the uh, groundwork was pretty good. The basement was pretty much well built, and we've uh, done pretty well on building that. But uh, for my expectations. No, we're probably not there yet. Uh, I think we've got a little bit more work to do. Uh, I think the athletes understand that now, which is really important, that they understand what we're trying to get accomplished and that they buy into it. That was the, the most important thing for me is that they get it because I'm not going to go out there and compete for, for them. So they need to understand that, that this is important, not just to, to me, to the staff, but to the university. And it should be important to themselves uh, also. And I think they've all made that transition. Enough of them have. Uh, so I feel pretty confident that we're moving in the right direction said that one of, the, one of the changes is they compete to win now mm -hmm. and it's about winning. Mm -hmm. How do you, uh, I guess, encourage that as you get ready for this? What's the preparation like? For this? Just making them aware of, of what's going on. I, I think sometimes we take for granted that the kids know what the heck they're doing and, and kind of what's going on. And, and, and my philosophy is that they have to be involved. And we, we have captains now, and the captains are involved in the process, the entire process. Uh, what do we expect to do as a team? Uh, what place we expect to take? Who we expect to score? And how many people we want to take to the NCAA? And kind of all the goals are laid out for them, not just in the back of my mind or the assistant coaches, but in their mind also, so they can take pride uh, in the process and kind of buy into it. So. That's kind of the changes that we've made to make sure that they're involved, and, and I think the kids know that now, which is exciting to see. And then with the, the freshman class that we have coming in, I think it's going to be pretty exciting to see where we go from here. Do you view this this upcoming meet as a kind of setting more of the groundwork for next season, and you take the program to the next level? Is that kind of how you view it? Absolutely. I think when you bring in that many freshmen, you need people who have been there, done that, so they can teach them where we're trying to go. Uh, if we have nobody that's going to the NC, it's very difficult to tell the freshmen we're trying to get this accomplished. And okay, well, who knows? Well, nobody knows. So uh, for us, it's just to have enough people in the group that can tell the freshmen, last year I came really close, or last year I made it and I was All American, and this is what coach is talking about. So uh, there's a correlation between what I'm saying and what they're going to experience as a team. Chelsea kind of exploded here in the last mm -hmm. couple of months. Is mm -hmm. that a situation where the light bulb came on, or how do you, how do you? You know, it's, it's uh, I was having a conversation with Jake this morning. It's like sometimes it takes a while. You can put the seed and it takes a while for it to grow. It, the person have to believe in the process also. And the difficulty sometimes is the kids believe that they can do it. Uh, but there's another process where they start seeing the light that, okay, I'm getting closer and closer and closer. And, and the thing with Chelsea is that it took a little bit. You know, she had a fantastic cross country season and, 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 and for us, she has never been at the SEC before. So the difficulty was, it was the uncharted territory. She's uh, never competed that far down the road. So for her, this is her first SEC ever. And a little nervousness, but also a lot of excitement that, wow, I'm actually there. And then it's almost like, here we go, world. I got something for you guys. I've been sort of waiting to, to unleash and let you guys know how capable I am of an athlete. So it took a little bit longer. Um, you know, Kayla Parker is another one that took a while to kind of get to the point where she actually believes she can kind of make it happen. So it's not as easy as just telling them they got to feel it, touch it, and believe in it. And they also got to see the results. You know, it's easy to believe you can do it, but when you're not performing to the level that you expect, boy, it's very difficult to bind to what coach is saying because you don't know what that is. With, with that kind of confidence, and how would you how would you uh, assess what they're what they might be able to do out there? Um, you know, my philosophy is is drop the expectations a little bit. You know, Don't go out there expecting them to, to win or to get top three because then you put so much pressure on them that they end up getting fifth or sixth place and then they're disappointed. So my thing is let's go out there and do what we've been doing all year. And if that's not good enough to be All-American or to win, then so be it. We'll go back and work again. But I think to, to tell it because they got to do something special at the NCAA, that, that's not the way to build a team because uh, they walk away disappointed with a great performance. So uh, I've told all of them, just do what you're capable of doing and let God sort out the rest.